Hi and welcome to my new video and in this video I'm gonna do a detailed how-to tutorial on the G-Shock GBD 800 and if you like that content please subscribe to my channel so thank you so as I mentioned earlier this is the G-Shock GBD 800 and we are gonna start off with this video with the screen indicators and maybe the best way to do that is to show you this image over here while I'll scroll uh, uh, and tell you what does each and every uh, screen indicator do. So, number one is displayed while the lap time is displayed. Number two is displayed while a split time is displayed. Number three, while the watch is in the recall mode. Number four, while the current time is the, in the uh, daylight saving time mode. Uh, and number five appears when the uh, display time is in the PM time. Uh, number six is displayed while the auto light is enabled uh, graphic area uh, display uh, graphic display area operations is, is linked with the uh, operations in each uh, watch mode and the bluetooth logo is displayed while there's a connection between the watch and the phone alarm uh, is displayed while the alarm alarm is turned on number 10 is the hourly time signal number 11 is the uh, step indicators and it, it will indicate whether or not the step count is being incremented number 12 is displayed while the step count is displayed number 13 the mute is displayed while the button operation tone is this uh, is disabled number 14 so in the stopwatch mode indicates the measurement status while the target time function is enabled now let's run through the uh, graphic display area the graphic display um, uh, area operation is linked with the operation in each uh, watch mode the graphic display area is black in the recall mode, recall mode and the alarm mode so uh, while a uh, step count is displayed in the timekeeping mode the graphic uh, display area uh, sh shows your progress towards your daily steps target for other types of the display it changes with the count of the current uh, times seconds how to navigate between the modes of the watch uh, well that's done simply by pressing the mode button so you can run through the watch modes so you have first in a row is the stopwatch mode next up is the recall mode timer so countdown timer uh, that's the um, uh, sorry the world time mode or the dual time mode and the alarm mode and the back to the standard timekeeping mode how to view the step count data that's done by pressing this button over here and uh, it will indicate the number of steps and the chart of the uh, daily step achieved will be uh, shown over here but we will get to that later so again pressing it gets us back to the standard timekeeping mode the pedometer mode you can use the pedometer to keep track of your step count while walking, engaging in your normal daily activities and etc. So if you are wearing the watch correctly, the pedometer will count your step as your work or engage your normal uh, daily activities. The pedometer will start uh, counting your steps when you start walking. Uh, the step indicator show uh, uh, whether, or, uh, whether or not the step count is being incremented. Alternating at one second intervals, uh, that's the walking, uh, both displayed uh, step count will be uh, incremented and the will display not walking. So this is the chart that I'm talking about and maybe that is the best uh, way to uh, see what's going on. So how to display the uh, step count? Uh, first of all, you have to be in the standard timekeeping mode and press the this button over here so this since this is a brand new watch you will not see any steps because i didn't make any steps with this watch today so but uh, um, what are the watch uh, functions when you uh, engage the daily step count you will, over here you will see the um, uh, step step uh, gra count graph and this is this will be the daily step count and the, over here will be the um, daily uh, step count goal progress uh, in the uh, this circle around here 
uh, how to interpret the step count graph. So here is the picture for you to better understand that. The step count graph shows the number of steps up to 1000 you have taken each hour. This lets you easily check your walking pace over the past 7 or 8 hour, hours. Uh, the step count graph is not displayed while the step count is 0. Graph contents are normally updated at the top of the hour. And uh, how to check your progress for your daily step target. In the uh, part of this video where I'll run through the setting the time and date on this watch, you will see how to uh, set the uh, daily step uh, target. Also, uh, there's an option for you uh, to set your daily step target using the application. So uh, in this video, all of that will be shown. But here is the way how to uh, check or uh, your progress for your daily step target. So the graphic display area shows your current progress towards achieving the daily step uh, daily step target specified by you. So here is the example of uh, ten thousand steps uh, for you to see. How to reset the today's step count? Um, enter the timekeeping mode. So here we are in the time that, uh, standard time timekeeping mode, and uh, to uh, reset that value. But because well, my uh, current value is reset to zero. But nevertheless, I'm going to show you. So hold down these two buttons, this button and this button over here, and you will restart the value. So. Uh, Press and hold for about two seconds and release the button when CLR appears uh, on this uh, uh, upper digital display. So here we go. And there it is. So our daily step count has been reset to zero. Setting the time and date on the GBD 800 is done like this. From the standard timekeeping mode, press and hold the adjust button until you uh, see the set button a uh, set indicated on the screen above where it says Wednesday now so here we go and you hear the heard the beep so currently we are in the procedure of setting the values of the clock of the watch sorry now the first in a row of settings is setting the daily step uh, target value currently uh, it's set to uh, 10,000 steps but you can increase or decrease that value by pressing the a lower button that's the this button over here and the start button so you can basically increase or decrease that value manually again this is the manual procedure of setting your watch uh, next press of the mode button gets us to setting the seconds value on this watch uh, now you cannot set the exact value of seconds but what you can do is reset that value by pressing the start button over here Next press of the mode button gets us to setting the hour value and you can see the uh, digit uh, 8 is currently flashing. So using the uh, start button and the uh, start button and the uh, this button over here again, we can increase or decrease the value. So this button and this button over here will increase that value. The procedure is exactly the same when I press the mode button and get to setting the minutes. Uh, again, the procedure is the same for setting the uh, 12 or 24 hour time format and that's done by pressing the uh, start button so you can set it to 12 or 24 hour time format. I'm going to leave it at 24 hour time format. Next press of the mode button gets us to setting the year value. Now uh, to increase or decrease that value, press the start or this button over here. So start. To increase or this button over here to decrease that value so uh, again uh, pressing the mode button gets us to setting the month value again using this button over here or this button over here will increase or decrease the month value setting next press of the mode button gets us to setting the uh, current day value it's set currently to 25th, but uh, to change that value, press again uh, this button over here or this button over here. So here we go. That is basically the procedure of setting the date value. Uh, the procedures are pretty much the same for a day, a month, a year, a hour and minutes value. Next, press of the mode button gets us to setting the 
uh, button tone or the um, button operation tone so you can enable it or disable it by um, pressing this button over here that's the start button and when it's muted it will indicate on the, indicate on the screen that it's muted so I'm gonna leave it at on next press of the mode button uh, gets us to the uh, illumination duration you have you can shuffle using the start button between LT3 and LT1 the LT1 stands for one and a half seconds illumination when you press the light button and LT3 stands for three seconds of uh, illumination duration so I'm gonna get it back at one next press of the mode button gets us to the beginning and setting the uh, daily step uh, target value and uh, we have rolled through all of our uh, uh, functions when it comes to setting the time and date on this watch once you're done simply press the adjust button and we are back to the standard timekeeping mode how to use the stopwatch on the gbd 800 so to measure the split time well first of all let's get to the stopwatch mode by pressing the mode button and that's the first mode in a row of modes when pressing the mode button uh, how to measure the split time uh, press the uh, start button to start the measurement and currently we see that the time is being uh, measured press the uh, this button over here lap or reset button to split the number one let's see how it will long take it to hold it and there it is press it again to split number two and that's indicated on this uh, upper part of the screen over here so currently we are measuring the uh, number three split again and start to uh, that was be the finish or the go then the same button over there to reset the value to zero how to measure the uh, lap time a lap time shows the time elapsed during the specific uh, lap around the track so let's go so pressing the start button we engage the measurement lap number uh, one over there lap number two lap number three on the same button and once you reach your goal press the start that would be the finish reset using this uh, button over there measuring the elapsed time is pretty simple so pressing the start button you start it stop it resume it and stop it again and press the same press this button over here to reset the value of your stopwatch mode using the countdown timer mode on this watch uh, to enter that mode simply press or keep pressing the mode button until you enter the countdown timer mode and currently we are over here so uh, briefly you saw a tmr indicated on this upper screen so that means we are in the countdown timer mode so uh, first of all let's run through the setting the uh, timer start time uh, the start time can be set in uh, one second units up to um, 60 minutes if a timer countdown operation is in progress reset the timer to its current uh, start time before performing this operation so how to set that values uh, press and hold the adjust button until you hear the beep and see this uh, so1 start flashing and there we are so currently it uh, it's flashing flashing and uh, that's that the uh, the thing we currently see is fl flashing is the auto repeat setting and it can be set from uh, 1 to 20 so uh, how to spe specify the number of auto repeats that done by pressing the start button and the 
lap reset button so we can go from 1 to 20. Next press of the mode button gets us to setting our uh, uh, interval timer that means that you can set five different intervals for your uh, countdown timer mode uh, so you can preset each and every value for that so you have values from one to five and each of that value has it has its time indicated over there so uh, basically that's done for a uh, workout uh, so you have your one interval uh, countdown timer setting for i don't know 30 seconds interval number two for one minute and that's best used when you are uh, interval training workout say you want to do uh, push-ups for 30 seconds you want to rest for 20 seconds squats for 30 seconds and rest for 24 25 seconds and and so pretty much you get the principle of the countdown uh, timer uh, watch uh, intervals when uh, uh, exercising or doing a workout next press of the mode button gets us to setting the minutes uh, of the watch so currently we see that the minutes are flashing uh, use these two buttons so this button and this button over here to shuffle that value so there we are i'm gonna leave it at 10 minutes next press of the mode button gets us to uh, flashing of the uh, seconds and uh, we can uh, in, uh, increase or decrease that value by pressing these two buttons so again the same buttons and once you are done simply press the adjust button and all of our um, uh, settings will be implemented how to use the countdown timer mode um, a typical operation is uh, as it follows so press the start button and the watch will start uh, counting down your time uh, next press of the start button it, it will uh, pause the countdown timer uh, resume it pause it again and reset it using this button over here and that would be the basics of a countdown timer mode alarm and hourly time signal uh, the watch will beep when an alarm time is uh, reached you can set up to uh, five uh, different alarms the hourly time signal causes the watch to beep every hour on the hour so let's get to the alarm mode and that's done by pressing the mode button and there we are the AL, 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 uh, M was indicated on the, uh, this screen above so uh, we are in the countdown uh, sorry the alarm mode so configuring the alarm settings how to scroll the through the alarms that's done by pressing the start button so you can scroll through the five alarms and their preset values and also the hourly time signal so let's get back to the alarm number one how to set the, the value of the alarm press and hold the adjust button and until you uh, see these uh, the hour value start flashing how to change the hour uh, our value that's done by pressing the start and the uh, lap reset button to increase or decrease that value so currently when you saw me uh, adjusting or pressing the uh, adjust button to uh, set the alarm value the watch automatically turned the alarm on so once you're done with setting the uh, hour value press the mode button and the flashing will turn to the minute so procedure is the same pressing these two buttons will uh, indicate or uh, scroll through the minutes values uh, once you're done with settings simply press the adjust button and the watch will automatically um, uh, turn on alarm number one as you saw it so currently alarm number one is turned on um, how to turn that alarm off that's done by pressing this button over here and i just turned it off on or or on and you see me pressing this button over here the alarm will turn on or off and it will be indicated on this uh, part of the screen over here so let me turn it off 
procedure is exactly the same for all of the alarms so I'm shuffling between the alarms and currently I'm on the alarm 3 let's say I want to turn it on press this button and the alarm is turned on um, that would be the basics of the alarm mode uh, you can shuffle to the hourly time signal and turn it also on by pressing this button over here and it will be indicated by this chime over there so that would be the basics of the alarm and the hourly time signal here we have a installed G-Shock connected application so let's run through the application and see what it can do and see what the watch offers so So here we are, here are the terms of use, now we have to agree to them all, you have to scroll through all of the text, agree to all, let's go, uh, allow, ok, you have to turn on the bluetooth, here we go, so currently we are now in process of finding our watch, and there it is, it's the GB. Uh, D800. Here we are. So it currently says we have to press the start button and hold it for two seconds for the watch to connect. So to pair. There it is. A new watch was found. Register the watch to the application. The time zone was updated. And currently what we see here is some of the, uh, I would say, uh, first instructions and uh, presets that we want to uh, adjust our watch. So currently it's set uh, to distance in kilometers, height in centimeters and weight in kilograms. So these are, these are the pretty much the metric units. And uh, we would have to, <coughs> sorry, uh, set our uh, height, weight, birthday sex and the target steps to the watch and uh, once we're done with that we'll simply set the settings to the watch okay uh, log the to view activity data load the data on the smartphone hold and okay okay so we can set that on or off and here is the basic operations of the watch let's see what does the guide offer us so we have the time mode and basically all of the uh, watch uh, indicators and buttons what does uh, each button do so you can go through the stopwatch stopwatch data recall alarm world time and the time so Let's get back and see what does a stat tracker offer us. Over here we have the all of the activities. So since this is a, a brand new watch, there are no steps and calories to be indicated uh, except for today, which I when I brought the watch to the uh, uh, to do a video. And over here you have the activity list, so you can basically track all of your um, goals, target steps, calories burned, and your uh, all of your uh, basic step activities so here is the timer you can uh, set how it will uh, um, you can rearrange your work uh, workouts uh, so the timer you can use those uh, timer as a preset values on your watch this is the stopwatch mode world time mode you can set the time uh, let's see if we can change the world time yes we can so Let's say I want to set it to Tokyo and send the uh, city information to the watch. And there we are, the world time or the second 
time zone has been set over here you have the uh, utility option and that's the uh, five alarms and the hourly time signal so basically you can uh, set each one of them on or off um, what does the gear button do let's see you have the tutorial activity map display settings let's see what is that um, we have ran through this previously so you it will use your phone location uh, information to display the location of your activity in the app so basically it will sync the phone uh, map systems with your uh, watch so you can track your movement on the uh, on the map or the real terrain so you will have the phone finder settings you have the uh, profile settings that was the in the beginning so you can uh, rearrange that operation sound uh, time adjustment light setting summer time uh, setting for the home time so basically uh, it's much easier to set or and manage your watch using the application we have seen previously that the um, automatic uh, uh, time zone was automatically updated so you can set your alarms your uh, stopwatch your countdown timer and pretty much everything else that would be all um, regarding the application returning the watch to the factory default settings this section explains how to return the watch settings uh, to the initial uh, factory default defaults and that includes the watch settings the pedometer stopwatch timer and the alarm so hold down uh, uh, the mode button for at least uh, two seconds to enter the timekeeping mode but we were in the time standard timekeeping mode that's the just procedure for you uh, to get back to the standard timekeeping mode so hold down the adjust button for at least two seconds and release it when the uh, set stops flashing so there we are the set stops uh, stopped flashing now press the mode button and this causes the seconds to flash and they are flashing now hold down the uh, this button over here for at least um, five seconds and release the button when reset all stops flashing so here we go holding it for five seconds maybe i'm not just pressing it so here we go let's try it again five se oh here we go reset all and we have reset our watch to the factory default settings so there was a mistake when i didn't actually press the button over here uh, enough but you get the procedure so after uh, pressing and holding it for five seconds and re uh, re uh, releasing it when the uh, reset all stops flashing that will reset our watch all of our watch values and return it to the factory defaults once we are done simply press the adjust button to get back to the standard timekeeping mode the auto light function the auto light function stands for uh, the watch illuminating its uh, face so you can see the time and that's done by pre uh, when you rotate your wrist to see what's the time the auto light function will automatically turn on the light so to do that or shuffle it between on or off simply press and hold the light button for three seconds and the lt uh, has lit up so lt stands in this part of the screen that the auto light is turned on again to turn it off simply press and hold the light button and it will be turned off and uh, with that uh, feature i'm gonna end this detailed how-to tutorial thank you very much for watching uh, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more watch content thank you